Hi everyone, I'm Liam and in this video I'll be sharing an often overlooked Lightroom feature called Reference Mode. If you've ever struggled with achieving consistency across a set of images, this could be the tool for you. So here we are in Lightroom and I have these two photos of some cold brew coffee that I shot a few days ago. And as you can see, one image is slightly underexposed and the other one is slightly overexposed. So if I go ahead and edit the first image in this set, so I can jump into the develop module, I can go ahead and edit this image. So I'm gonna increase the exposure. I'm gonna bring up the warmth a little bit here as well. Somewhere around there and apply the preset. So XPE03. I'm just gonna crank up the contrast a little bit as well, just to really pop those colors. Somewhere around there looks good to me. Okay, so now we can go back to the grid view. And typically a great way to get consistency across a series of images is to synchronize the edits through all the images. So if I go ahead and select both of these images here and press Command or Control, Shift and S, I can then synchronize all of the settings from one image to the next. So this method is fine if everything stays the same from one shot to the next. But if something changes like the light or your camera settings between any of those shots in your series of images, you're gonna find inconsistency when you synchronize. So like here, I have an underexposed shot, which I've pulled up the exposure for, and now I've got an overexposed shot, which is applied to that exposure level too. So we're obviously gonna to need to do some further tweaks on this image here. And of course we can jump into the develop module and we can go ahead and edit that. But we're doing that blind. We're not able to see the rest of the images in the series. So we're kind of doing this a little bit in isolation. I can go ahead and bring the exposure down because we know that's what needs to happen. But if we go back to the grid view, you can see that actually they don't quite match still. They're not quite the same. And we could go back and forth and go back into develop and make further tweaks and then jump back into the uh, grid view and see if that's matching the other images. But of course, that's a bit of a long-winded process, jumping backwards and forwards uh, between develop and grid. Wouldn't it be great if you could just see two images side by side in the develop module, but when you select multiple images even and go into develop, it's just gonna show you one single image. But with reference view, you can actually view a reference photo beside the current active photo in the develop module. So you can access that in the toolbar at the bottom down here. If you can't see your toolbar, press the T key on the keyboard and that will present it here. And down at the bottom left, you're gonna see RA. And this is the reference mode. R means a reference image and A means the active image. So if I give this a click, we can see it moves the current image over to the right and it's now in the active pane and on the left we have the reference pane and down here it says drag and drop a photo from the film strip to set the reference photo so if i come down to the bottom of the screen where the film strip is and i can then click and drag the first image up into the reference panel and now i get the opportunity to see them side by side and now i can go ahead and make tweaks to the active image using all of the developed settings so i can bring the exposure down to match the image on the left Maybe somewhere around there. It looks like it needs a little bit more warmth there as well, maybe. Tiny touch, just looking at the shadows in the top here. Uh, it does need straightening up a little bit as well, but we'll leave that for now. Uh, and maybe a touch more, touch more contrast, I think. Now we have an image which is much closer to that initial photo in the series and I could work my way through the whole set of images and ensure they all have that same consistency. So for this photo, it was mainly the exposure that I was tweaking there to match it a little bit, the white balance as well. But if you imagine if you're shooting something like a wedding where you're moving from indoors to outdoors, there's a big change in light, a big change in the scenery as well around you. You're gonna find that there's some inconsistencies in the color toning and things like that as you move from one set of images to the next. So to find that consistency, you can have an image out of the previous set that you've already edited that you're happy with up on screen as you're editing one from the next set just to make sure that there is some cohesiveness and some consistency between the whole shoot. So that's it for this quick tip video. I hope you found this one useful. If you have ideas for future tutorial content, let us know over on the Archipelago Quest Facebook group. We'd love to hear your ideas. Join me next time for more. Thanks for watching.